imagine the overall halftime tone was a positive one, but what do you think the talking points were in the locker room? Well, if there were three talking points at the half, partner, all of them were about turnovers because they were pretty loose with the ball. Otherwise, this lead could be even bigger. Now, I don't think that they overly harped on it, but I think they told him, guys, if he wants to keep calling those plays that are exciting, you've got to take care of the ball. Otherwise, we may have to dial things back a little bit. Meanwhile, Cousins throw complete there to Johnson. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Cousins. That one into the hands of Thielen, complete. Touchdown, Vikings! Adam Thielen. He has career touchdown number 78, tying in with both Eddie George and Frank Gifford on the all-time list. And the Vikings come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Joseph connects on the extra point, and the lead is up to 18 now. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Johnson won't return this, and the football will come out to the 25. First possession of the second half now for Washington. Wentz bringing the commanders up for first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring him down. Vita Vea in there to drop him for a loss on the play. They'll run with McKissick. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game. Or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. Wentz finding McLaurin there for the commanders first. Okay, so now the question, how did he get that wide open? Well, we both know that he shouldn't because from the time they handed out scouting reports before this game, he was circled, starred, everything. Find him, cover him. But sometimes you can scheme a guy open. You put the receivers in a bunch, maybe you move some motion, maybe you put them on the backside of a formation and all of a sudden you've got a better matchup. Every now and then, the offensive guys, they figure a way to get him open, even with everyone keeping eyes on him. And that's certainly a guy they want to keep trying to scheme open. Now they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. 78 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Wentz now on first down. And Thomas has it. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination look pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Hand off now to Robinson, and he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Back to Robinson now on first down. And he'll keep it moving down to the 15-yard line. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Now wins. And this is going to be incomplete. Curtis Samuel, the intended target, and it's third and short. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On play action, it's Wentz. 
And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. On first and 10, it's Robinson. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. You've got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. On second and 11 now, Wentz. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. Robinson will score. Touchdown, Commanders. Well, fair to say they've got something here in this rookie running back, and he's in for the second time of the ball game. And, Brandon, it's a position where there's often a lot of turnover, a lot of competition at that spot. But he's proven to them that he wants to be the bell cow guy that his franchise can rely on. An extra point by Sly is up and good. And that'll make this now an 11-point deficit. Kick team out there for the Commanders as they send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and 10. And he powers his way up past the 30. The tackle by Cole Holcomb. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, old momentum, He's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. And that's complete to K.J. Osborne. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. Now that's all about making something happen as a quarterback because instead of forcing something on third down, how about him buying some time outside of the pocket, waiting for someone to come open? And when he did, he put it on him for a big play and a first down. 160 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. To throw, Cousins. Step, and he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Montez Sweat. Credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. So now after the sack, Cousins and the Vikings come up here third and long. Back to throw. Rolling to his right. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Well, there's your leading receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage, putting on another clinic well over 100 yards. Are we taking notes? We should be, right? Because I'm going to go back and watch this tape and really enjoy what I'm seeing, the route running, competing for... This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. William Jackson with a pick. And the Commanders are going to have the football here at their own 18-yard line. So a potential momentum shifter there, working with a two-score lead, third quarter, but that, not the smartest of throws. I would agree with you on that one because this game is still very much in the balance. It felt pretty one-sided to this point, but now if these guys can turn this turnover into points, things could start getting a little more interesting. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They will run it. It's McKissick. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. To throw his wins. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. 
DJ Wadham in there to record another sack, and that is now six on the afternoon for this defensive unit. Winston, the commander, staring down a third and long now after that sack. Looking deep downfield. He rifles one that's intercepted. And the Vikings are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. Adam Thielen and the rest of the Vikings offense, they get set for their next possession. A monster game so far, third quarter. He is lighting up the stat sheet. And so many times when you see these types of games, you hear about the quarterback, or we talk about the quarterback throwing guys open, putting it in the right spot. How about some credit for the receivers, yeah, though? Absolutely. Who find ways to get open, whether they uncover late in a route or they get open early, but they just always find a way. And he's having that type of a game. Yeah, he's been nearly impossible to cover. I know, he's easy. Cousins to throw it. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And he gets it back into the end zone. It's a fumble recovery leading to a Washington touchdown. This defense, Charles, they needed some type of a spark to help get them back in this game. I think they just got their spark. No doubt about it. You know, that's all they discussed. How can we get ourselves moving again? How can we get our team going? This definitely qualifies. And now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. So he couldn't get rid of the football, and that deficit stays right where it is. Now they had the big play on the fumble return. They were looking for the one-two punch, but they couldn't get that two-point conversion. And I have to wonder, were they scheduled to go ahead and kick the extra point? But after a play like that, you talk about the one-two punch, right? It's a momentum play. Go for two and really try to capitalize, and that's what they attempted. Adam Thielen, he gets set to go again with the rest of this offense. He's hoping to take what has been a good game here and make it a great game. But so far, solid, and we're, and we're still in the third quarter. And there's nothing wrong with solid. You want to be that. You want to be reliable. You want to be a guy that puts your team in a position to have a chance to win. And that's what we're seeing from him. And there's also that added element that maybe it can become a little bit more as this game goes on. He'll try to make it more here on this drive. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. Cook going to take this down just short of the goal line. He got three, but could not get the ball over the chalk. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. Again, it's Cook. And good work there defensively as they're able to keep him out of the end zone. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. What a stand this would be if they can get the stop here. Third and goal. Cook will take this into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers, and let's get this one in. Joseph connects on the extra point, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Johnson won't return this, and the football will come out to the 25. So out comes Washington's offense to take over. Wentz bringing the commanders up for first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll start with a give to Robinson, and he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. With the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to help feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. And this is going to be a commander's first down as the tackle made here at the 36. Throwing now is Wentz. Open man is Samuel, complete. Ran the perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, 
You see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Now wins. He gets 